All right, here's an update on my 280ZX. I crashed it about a month ago. I hit the wall about 100 miles an hour. Car got very, very loose. And it hit, it hit there. Tail light completely disappeared. I guess it's on the track somewhere. Um, Smack the front. Put the headlight bucket. I do have another headlight bucket already. The bumper. I might be able to straighten it. The hood didn't get hurt. Um. The door is fine. The door is fine. The the latch the hatches. Uh, this is the only damage to the hatch right here, and it's still it's fine. And really, it didn't like even the frame rails under here. Under here are good, and the stupid tire got scraped. Yeah, so I bought new tires, and here's the new tires. Um, yeah, so so these are um, that wide and. Supposed to be a 32, but you know it's not inflated right now. So I did some measuring, and I have about 57 inches inside before uh, this part hits um, here. So I set them, I set them that distance apart, and I have about I don't know, I'd say. I mean, uh, I could go, I could go 20 inches on my frame width, you know, or maybe a little more, maybe 22. But here's the problem, and I need, uh, I need help with this problem. Okay, this. This bar here is a three by three, I think it's eighth wall, that runs from side to side. It goes under my seat, you know, it's welded into the car. This is where my ladder bar is built to. So my ladder bars built to that. Let me get some light here. How about that? Yeah, see? Ladder bars go there. Which is, uh, what this hump here is for. So, the problem is, this goes straight under my ass where I sit. And, let's see. And so, So if I go with a 22 inch, 20, 22 inch frame width, um, that'll put the letter bar, I don't know, somewhere right here. And it'll have to be, because the tire is so much taller, the letter bar mount is going to need to be at three inches or so higher up on this bar here. So it'll be. It'll be, you know, three inches up, which is be even more into my ass. So, what is the remedy for that? Please let me know. Thank you.